All righty. All right, today is Wednesday, Wednesday, March 17, right? March 17. So it's 42, already 42 p.m. Thank you for being here both, Judith and Felix. I know you're always early. Uh, let me write down the date. So Wednesday, March, uh, hold on. March 17, 2021. All right, we almost finished lessons uh, B yesterday. So we have two more lessons before um, the exam. If you remember, I told you yesterday, the exam is next week, right? So I hope to finish, we hope to finish tomorrow, um, Thursday or Monday, either one. Then after we finish, we finish, there's a small review about the three units. This is just a reminder. Also another announcement, we have vacations. That's the holiday week. From the 29, uh, March 29 to April 4th. It means we are coming back to classes on April, April the 5th, right? Let me double check my calendar. That's um, yeah, that's Monday, April fifth. Okay, okay, hold on. So we are coming back on April 5th. All right, same time, 4.30 p.m. This is just a short announcement for you. Remember, it's the Holy Week. Holy Week obviously is suspended um, in every <clears throat> Mexico. So, we are having we are having a short vacation. It's one week. All right. I have more people coming in. All right. Do you understand, uh, everybody? Right, the vacation is on the 29th to mm, April, April more or less, teacher. March 29th, that starts on, on vacation. Yes, from March 29th um, to April 4th. So we are yep. coming back on April 5th. It's here. Okay, that's the short vacation. It's just one week, it's the holy week. Any questions? No, teacher, it's okay. All right. Anyway, I, I will be reminding you uh, often in case you forget. <laughs> I don't think you forget about the vacation, right? All right, I think most of you are here, Gloria. Hello, Gloria. Hi, teach. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good afternoon. Hi, thank you, teacher. 
Great, great. Jessica is here. Lucia. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Lucia. Hi, Hi teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Maru. And we have Natalia. Hi. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. So, I do not know. Not everybody is here, but the ones who are here, that's enough. Somos los que estamos, o algo se dicen. Um, this is a short review of, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me find the book. Here. All right, please, most of you are on time, but try. All right, <clears throat> let me know if you can see the page, the book is loading. Yes, you can see it now. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. This is, okay. This is the last exercise from the last lesson. You need uh, lesson B. So we're going to finish. It's the listening part. What do you know? So you you will hear, you will listen to um, people taking the quiz. So you have the options. Remember, like number one. What's the world tallest trees that grow in? The, the world's tallest trees grow in. You will, you will hear, you will listen uh, the answers. So please pay attention. Every question, every question has an answer. So you need to pick the correct one. Age 25, three, listening, what do you know? B, listen to the quiz show. Were your guesses correct? Write the correct answers above. Welcome to What Do You Know? Our first player is Maria Lopez from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. All right, so Maria, what topic do you want to start with? Natural wonders, please. Natural wonders it is. Okay, here's question number one. What country has the world's tallest trees? Um, it's the United States. Correct. The world's tallest trees are California redwoods in the United States. The tallest redwoods are about 370 feet tall, which is about 113 meters. Good job, Maria. Now, here's the next question. What's the highest lake in the world? I think it's Lake Titicaca, isn't it? That's right. Lake Titicaca in Peru is the highest lake. It's 3,812 meters above sea level. Here's question three. What's the longest mountain range? Mountain range? Yes, a mountain range, a group of mountains. Um, the Andes? Right again. The Andes in South America are about 7,600 kilometers long. Okay. Next question. What is the world's largest archipelago? An archipelago is a group of islands, right? That's right. Oh, I think um, it's the Philippines. No, wait, 
It's Indonesia. Correct. Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago. It has about 13,000 islands. Question five. What country has the deepest canyon? That's easy. It's the Grand Canyon in the United States. Oh, sorry. The deepest canyon in the world is in Tibet. It's the Grand Canyon of Yarlung Po. It's over 5,000 meters deep. That's about 16,400 feet. Okay, now the final question. You need a correct answer to stay in the game. Where is the world's smallest volcano? Okay, well, I think the world's smallest active volcano is in the Philippines. But there's a smaller volcano in Puebla, in Mexico. It's not active, but it is a volcano. So I'm going to say Mexico. It is in Mexico. And it's only 13 meters or 43 feet high. Congratulations, Maria. You answered five out of six questions correctly. Let's go on to the next topic. All right, folks, pay attention one more time and listen for details about besides uh, the answer. So you need to write down you need to write down the location of that place and the numbers. Pay attention to the numbers. So it's very important what you get in the, the audio, okay? So you mentioned where is in the United States, what state? They say in California, right? And how tall, how tall it is. So try to get the name of the place or the city or the state uh, and the numbers they mentioned. One more time. Page 25, three, listening. What do you know? B, listen to the quiz show. Were your guesses correct? Write the correct answers above. Welcome to What Do You Know? Our first player is Maria Lopez from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. All right. So, Maria, what topic do you want to start with? Natural wonders, please. Natural wonders it is. Okay, here's question number one. What country has the world's tallest trees? Um, it's the United States. Correct. The world's tallest trees are California redwoods in the United States. The tallest redwoods are about 370 feet tall, which is about 113 meters. Good job, Maria. Now, Here's the next question. What's the highest lake in the world? I think it's Lake Titicaca, isn't it? That's right. Lake Titicaca in Peru is the highest lake. It's 3,812 meters above sea level. Here's question three. What's the longest mountain range? Mountain range? Yes. A mountain range, a group of mountains. Um, the Andes? Right again. The Andes in South America are about 7,600 kilometers long. Okay, next question. What is the world's largest archipelago? An archipelago is a group of islands, right? That's right. Oh, I think, um... It's the Philippines. No, wait, it's Indonesia. Correct. Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago. It has about 13,000 islands. Question five. What country has the deepest canyon? That's easy. 
It's the Grand Canyon in the United States. Oh, sorry. The deepest canyon in the world is in Tibet. It's the Grand Canyon of Yarlung Tsangpo. It's over 5,000 meters deep. That's about 16,400 feet. Okay, now the final question. You need a correct answer to stay in the game. Where is the world's smallest volcano? Okay, well, I think the world's smallest active volcano is in the Philippines, but there's a smaller volcano in Puebla in Mexico. It's not active. But it is a volcano, so I'm going to say Mexico. It is in Mexico, and it's only 13 meters or 43 feet high. Congratulations, Maria. You answered five out of six questions correctly. Let's go on to the next topic. Okay, okay. do you have the, all the answers or you wanna list, do you want to listen again? Again, teacher. You can tell me in meters. You don't have to say feet, because we are in Mexico. Either one. You, have, you just say meter or, or feet is 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 fine, but you have to you say it correctly. Double check your answers, please. Page twenty-five. Three. Listening. What do you know? B. Listen to the quiz show. Were your guesses correct? Write the correct answers above. Welcome to What Do You Know? Our first player is Maria Lopez from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. All right. So, Maria, what topic do you want to start with? Natural wonders, please. Natural wonders it is. Okay. Here's question number one. What country has the world's tallest trees? Um, it's the United States. Correct. The world's tallest trees are California redwoods in the United States. The tallest redwoods are about 370 feet tall, which is about 113 meters. Good job, Maria. Now, here's the next question. What's the highest lake in the world? I think it's Lake Titicaca, isn't it? That's right. Lake Titicaca in Peru is the highest lake. It's 3,812 meters above sea level. Here's question three. What's the longest mountain range? Mountain range? Yes, a mountain range. A group of mountains. Um, the Andes? Right again. The Andes in South America are about 7,600 kilometers long. Okay, next question. What is the world's largest archipelago? An archipelago is a group of islands, right? That's right. Oh, I think, um, it's the Philippines. No, wait. It's Indonesia. Correct. Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago. It has about 13,000 islands. Question five. What country has the deepest canyon? That's easy. It's the Grand Canyon in the United States. Oh, sorry. The deepest canyon in the world is in Tibet. It's the Grand Canyon of Yarlung Tsangpo. It's over 5,000 meters deep. That's about 16,400 feet. Okay, now the final question. You need a correct answer to stay in the game. Where is the world's smallest volcano? Okay, well, I think the world's smallest active volcano is in the Philippines but there's a smaller volcano in Puebla, in Mexico. It's not active, but it is a volcano. So I'm going to say Mexico. It is in Mexico, and it's only 13 meters or 43 feet high. Congratulations, Maria. 
You answered five out of six questions correctly. Let's go on to the next topic. All right, perfect. I hope you have all the answers. Let's see. Let's find out who's the winner this time. Uh, number one, the world's tallest trees grow in? In the United States, California. California, United States. What's the name of the, the, the tree? 113 meters? No. Wow. One fifteen meters. One hundred fifteen. Mean meters. Yes. Uh, how much did you say? Four hundred thirteen. 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 Uh huh. Anybody else? No. Number two, we will find out the highest lake in the world. What's the highest lake? Titicaca. Lake Titicaca. In Peru. 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 All right. How high is it? Is it? Three thousand eight hundred twelve. Okay. Three thousand. 812. Okay, anybody else? All right, no. please. I need you to pay attention. You listened to the audio three times. I need you to pay attention and tell me the answers. Please try to participate. This is just a listening practice. So everybody has to do something. Everybody has to participate. Number three, the longest mountain range is? The Andes, letter A. The Andes. The Andes. The Andes. The Andes. South America. The Andes. 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 The Andes. All right. How long is it? 700. No, 7,600. 7,600. 7, Long. All right. What's a mountain range? That's another question. What's a mountain range? Pregunta, ¿qué es un mountain range? I don't know, teacher. Lo acaba de decir. He asks, mountain range. Cordillera. Uh, that's in Spanish, of course. Cordillera. But you have to say it in English. It's a group of mountains, right? It's a group of mountains. Number four, the world's largest archipelago, archipelago is in Indonesia. 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 How many islands does it have? 13,000 islands. How many? 13,000 islands. 13,000. All right. Number five, okay, let me see. The ones who are not participating, I need to ask them. Letter the B. Walls, the walls. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Tibet. Tibet. The world's deepest canyon is in Tibet. Tibet. Right. He mentioned first is in the United States, in the Grand Canyon, but it's the deepest, right? So it's letter B. Well, let's pick up. How deep is it? One thousand. 
ya no escuché más. Five thousand. Five thousand. Six thousand. Six thousand. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Let's see who's right, who's wrong. Okay, where's the Tibet? Donde queda el Tibet? O Tibet. A ver si saben la geografía. La India, yes. Yes. Y no es la India de mi pueblo, es la India de allá. La India, la India. La India de la India. Yes, 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 yes. Geography, you need to learn geography. The world's smallest volcano is in Mexico. 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 Puebla. Mexico. 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 Right. How high? How high is it? Is it? Four hundred three feet. Meters. No feet. Uh, I can't listen. Fifteen meters. Fifteen. Fifteen thousand. Eighteen. Fifteen thousand. No thousand. Fifteen thousand. No thousand. Thirteen meters. Thirteen meters. Fifteen meters. 13 meters. Oh, okay. okay. One more time and pay attention who is right and who's wrong. Okay. Each twenty-five. Three. Listening. What do you know? B. Listen to the quiz show. Were your guesses correct? Write the correct answers above. Welcome to What Do You Know? Our first player is Maria Lopez from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. All right. So, Maria, what topic do you want to start with? Natural wonders, please. Natural wonders it is. Okay, here's question number one. What country has the world's tallest trees? Um, it's the United States. Correct. The world's tallest trees are California redwoods in the United States. The tallest redwoods are about 370 feet tall, which is about 113 meters. Good job, Maria. Now, here's the next question. Feet a meter. What's the highest lake in the world? I think it's Lake Titicaca, isn't it? That's right. Lake Titicaca in Peru is the highest lake. It's 3,812 meters above sea level. Here's question three. What's the longest mountain range? Mountain range? Yes, a mountain range, a group of mountains. Um, the Andes? Right again. The Andes in South America are about 7,600 kilometers long. Okay, next question. What is the world's largest archipelago? An archipelago is a group of islands, right? That's right. Oh. I think um, it's the Philippines. No, wait, it's Indonesia. Correct. Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago. It has about 13,000 islands. Question five. Yes. What fine. country has the deepest canyon? That's easy. It's the Grand Canyon in the United States. Oh, sorry. The deepest canyon in the world is in Tibet. It's the Grand Canyon of Yarlung Tsangpo. It's over 5,000 meters deep. That's about 16,400 feet. Okay, now the final question. You need a correct answer to stay in the game. Where is the world's smallest volcano? Okay. Well, I think the world's smallest active volcano is in the Philippines, but there's a smaller volcano in Puebla, in Mexico. It's not active, but it is a volcano. So I'm going to say Mexico. It is in Mexico. 
and it's only 13 meters or 43 feet high. Congratulations, Maria. You answered five out of six questions correctly. Let's go on to the next topic. Yes. So you were right, except the first one. This amount, you see? So this is the only one, but the rest are okay. So good job. Good job for the ones who were answering. For the ones who are quiet, they have an extra homework. Extra, extra homework. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But you need to participate, remember. Okie dokie, uh, questions. This is, remember, this is about listening and the skills when you listen an audio is to pay strictly attention, just focus, focus on the audio. Uh, you have the question here. When you listen to an audio, you, you first, what you have to do is to read the question and to read the main point of the question, the tallest tree, where? So they mentioned the United States. So that's easy. And pay attention to the numbers. When you do numbers, you need to take notes. So you don't forget because you have uh, six questions. So it's not easy to remember uh, so many numbers. That's why. All right, so next lesson, lesson C, we finally finish um, lesson B. We are still doing um, natural wonders. So what do you think about this title? First, can you tell me is present tense, simple present, Simple past, present perfect. Questions for everybody. Simple present. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Yes. yes, you have had, right? I had something that already happened. I have the best time. So it means I had fun, right? The best time. When you have so much fun doing something, you said, I have the best time. Also, as we say in, in, in Spanish, me la pasé super. I have the best time. So here, the, the point of this lesson is. Uh, being a supportive listener, supportive listener, not T, so supportive listener, not E, not T, being a supportive listener. What does that mean? So you need, when you respond to someone, when you are having a conversation with someone, you need to pay attention. Uh, let's say I am talking to Lucia about something, right? And I am listening, I am responding, I am focusing on the conversation. So that's why you need some expressions, right? So that's what we're going to see in this lesson. Question A for everybody. Are there any national parks in your country? Which one is the most beautiful? Which one is the largest? National parks. We have our reserve in um, Chiapas, La Selva La Candona, right? It's not a park, but it's a reservation. It's a reserve place where we have nature. 
Uh, do you know this this one? Are there mm -hmm. any other national parks in Mexico? Algún parque nacional en México que conozcan? Um, es in Mexico City, teacher. Uh, Papagayos Park in Acapulco City. In Acapulco City. Yes. Chapultepec. Chapultepec. Yes. Chapultepec Those, in, in Mexico City. Right. Those are called like um, lungs, right? Pulmones. The city lungs. Los pulmones de la ciudad. Um, Palenque, it's a national park. Dicho tú. Palenque, yes, Palenque. Can you tell them uh, where is Palenque? Where Palenque is? There Chiapas. are pyramids and yes, Chiapas. Chiapas? Jungle. It's a jungle, yes. Yes, Chiapas. Chiapas. What else? Another national park that you remember in Mexico. Jalisco, do you have a, a national park in Jalisco? Gloria? Um, in, in, Guadala in Guadalajara, Jalisco, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, um, have, Guadalajara, Jalisco have uh, many parks, importance in the city. Uh, 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 park, uh, Columbus Park is very important, the, the city. Uh, yeah. In this moment, I do not remember uh, uh, other numbers. Yeah, we, well, in Mexico, we have many, many thousands of parks, but we're talking about national parks, parks that are very important for the city because of the size. Uh, it's like the long of the city, right? So maybe you have parks in your neighborhood, a uh, little park with some games, or we are talking about like forest, uh, like Palenque, uh, uh, La Selva La Candona, uh, I don't know about the north side, by Chihuahua. What about Chihuahua, Jasmine? I think Jasmine is here. No, she's not here. Anyway, uh, so you need to brainstorm about what national parks we have in Mexico. So as I told you yesterday, it's very important we know our country. Let's say sometimes you know your city, right? Uh, that's why I asked Gloria. Uh, Felix is also from Acapulco. Uh, Lucia, you are from Yucatan. What do you have there? Lucia. Oh, sorry, teacher. A, a national park in Yucatan. Okay. We have um, the Corchito. Uh, um, El Corchito? Corchito. Uh -huh. Remember, national park, not just regular parks. Different. All right. Think about that. Which one is the most beautiful and which one is the largest? Well, the largest, we need to check how many we have, right? Um, Palenque, I don't know the size of Palenque. Maybe La Selva La Candona is the biggest, the largest. Right? The Cañón de Sumidero? El Cañón de Sumidero, yes, that's another national park. El Desierto de los Leones. Chiapas. Desierto de los Leones is also, you see, you have the ideas. Desierto de los Leones. What else did you say, Gibran? Repeat, please. Say it again. En Chiapas, de Cañón de Sumidero. Cañón del Sumidero, yes. In Puebla, La Malinche. Uh, La Malinche. 
La Malinche en Puebla. Puebla. Uh, 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 any other one you said, you mentioned? Ah, Desierto de los Leones. ¿Estás en México, Estado de México? Yes, teacher. Chapultepec okay. Park, teacher. Chapultepec. Papagayos Park. Papagayos well, Park. I don't think Papagayo Park is kind of small. It's, I think it's not considered a national no. park. I think it's one that is called El Veladero. Uh, it's ah, park. okay, yes. El national. Veladero, yes, it's, it's a national park. Means it's a reservation. It's taking care of the federal government because of its nature, right? Tierra de Organos? Tierra de Organos? Where's that? In Zacateca. Yeah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. Now let, let's pay attention to this conversation between Kim and Diego. They are doing something. They are in a national park. Please pay attention. Um, first, listen to Kim and Diego. What do they say about the Quo National Park? And listen to the expressions. Remember, listen to the expressions for the supported, um, hold on. You saw these expressions in, Latin, in the last, um, I think it was touchstone one or touchstone two. This is just a reminder. Like these expressions, it sure it does. Really, those those are some of them. Please pay attention. It's page twenty five. Is it 26 or 25? I forgot. 26. Yes. Page 26, lesson C. I had the best time. One, conversation strategy. Being a supportive listener. B, listen to Kim and Diego. What do they say about Sequoia National Park? This is the most incredible place. Yeah, it really is. It feels good to be out of the city. It sure does. You know, these trees are just awesome. They really are. Have you ever been to Sequoia National Park? No, have you? Yeah, I went last year. The trees there are the tallest in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just the greatest place to hike. We should go hiking there sometime. You're right, we really should. Okay, one more time. Page 26, lesson C. I had the best time. One, conversation strategy. Being a supportive listener. B, 
Listen to Kim and Diego. What do they say about Sequoia National Park? This is the most incredible place. Yeah, it really is. It feels good to be out of the city. It sure does. You know, these trees are just awesome. They really are. Have you ever been to Sequoia National Park? No, have you? Yeah, I went last year. The trees there are the tallest in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just the greatest place to hike. We should go hiking there sometime. You're right, we really should. All right, what words, um, vocabulary, I mean vocabulary, you don't know about this conversation. New word for you. We still have the superlatives here, if you notice, the most incredible place. No questions? No, teacher, it's okay. Okay. Um, hike, to hike. You know what it is, right? To hike? Yes. Or the sport, hiking? Yes. You all know, you all know. Yes, sure. okay. I know. So pay attention to the to the um, all the sentences. All right, let's listen as a few people. A few people, sorry. Let's see. Uh, put it. You are Kim, Jacqueline. You are Diego. Please. Okay. Okay, teacher. This is the most incredible place. Yeah, it really is. It feels good to be out of the city. It sure does. You know, the these trees are just awesome. The rally are. Have you ever been to Second National Park? No, have you? Yeah, I went last year. The trees there are the greatest in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just the great place to hike. We should go hiking there. I'm sorry. We should go hiking there sometimes. You're right. We rally show. All right. Okay. Awesome. Sequoia. 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 Tallest. Tallest. Greatest. Greatest. Uh, shoot. 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 You don't pronounce the O. Shoot. With a D at the end. Shoot. Saying like could, would, um, all those models. Okay. Uh, Lucia, you are Kim. Jessica, you are Diego. Please. Okay. This is the most incredible place. Yeah, in release, it feels good to be out of, out of the city. It sure does. You know, these trees are just a awesome. They really are. Have you ever been to Selkia National Park? No. Have you? Yeah, I won't last year. The trees there are the tallest in the world. Really? 
I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just the greatest place to hike. We should go hiking there sometime. You're right. We really should. Great. Just a couple mistakes, but you are, the rest are fine. Here, you change this one. There, there. You have a TH, there, there. Try to fix uh, all of you here when you have a TH, like the trees, the trees there are the tallest in the world. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have here. Rosa is here. And who else? And Felix. Yes, teacher. Rosa, Isela, you're Kim. Felix, you're Diego. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, this is the most incredible place. Yeah, it really is. It feels good to be out of the city. It sure does. You know, these trees are just awesome. They, they really are. Have you ever been to Secure National Park? No, have you? Yeah, I went last year. The trees there are the tallest in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just the greatest place to hike. I'm sorry. We should go hiking there sometime. You're right. We really should. Yes, uh, just, just here. Just, not used. Just. Most of you, some of you, I would say most, some of you say used. It's just. 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 Uh huh. Um, there is awesome. 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 You don't awesome. pronounce the W, no pronounce it. Awesome. Like, imagine they don't exist. Awesome. 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 Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I know it's, uh, it was one of the difficult words for me, um, but with practice, awesome, 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 no, awesome, awesome, awesome. It's very common. Awesome. Fantastic. Great. Uh, also, out, out of the city, together, out of the city. You see the linking, the, the consonants with vowels. All right, um, let's see who else. Gibran, um, Maru. Gibran, you are him. Maru, you are Diego. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. This is the most incredible place yeah it's a release yeah it really is it feels good to be out of of the city it's so it so that that there are just awesome they really are have you ever been the sequa national park no have you yeah, I went last year. The trees there are the tallest in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just a great, great test place to, hit, to hike. Sorry. Continue. Wait. You're right. And uh, we're we really short. Yes, good, good. The same. Uh, no mistakes, except a couple. Greatest. Greatest. 
No, greatest. 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 The T sounds like a D. Greatest. Right, greatest. Greatest. And the rest are good. Sequoia. Sequoia. National Sorry. Park. I, I have noticed that mm -hmm. most of you, some of you, oh, no. have, have trouble to pronounce this. Have you ever been to Sequoia National Park? It's together. Have you ever been to Sequoia National Park? Cuando una oración se les haga difícil de pronunciarla, practice. Practice a lot. That's the only way to fix it. If you make a mistake, uh, well, I still remember when I was in, in high school learning English. When you make a mistake and you have some troubles to pronounce a word, cuando tienen problemas de pronunciar una palabra, dicen, no puedo, no puedo, no puedo, no puedo. Y se me enreda mucho la lengua para hacer esta oración. So, lo que tienes que hacerte es enfocarte en esos errorcitos y repetirlos seguido hasta que te salga. Es como un challenge, un reto. Y siempre van a existir en el inglés. Hay muchísimas palabras, muchísimas palabras que se vuelven un reto. So, ahí está tu actitud de decir, yo lo puedo hacer. Ok, we have Gloria, Gloria, and who else? ¿Quién falta? Jessica. Me, teacher. Oh. Who said me? Natalia. Natalia? Yes. Didn't, didn't you read? Yes. You already read, read, read. Ya leíste. Oh, no, no. Oh. Well, let's see. Natalia and Gloria, please. Gloria, you are Kim. Uh, Natalia, you are Diego. Okay, please. teacher. This is the most incredible place. Yeah, it really is. It feels good to be out of the city. It sure does. You know, these dreams are just awesome. They are really, really are. Have you ever been to Sequoia National Park? No, have you? Yeah, I went last year. The trees that are the tallest in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just the greatest place to hike. We should go hiking there sometime. You're right. We really should. All right, good. We should go hiking. We should go hiking there sometime. Hiking. Yeah, sometime. No, as some of you said, sometimes. Remember, we have plural, we have singular. Sometimes. Yeah, awesome. Same awesome. 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 When you say you are awesome, you are fantastic. The day is awesome. It's fabulous. That's what it means. These trees are just awesome. Same meaning. Okay. Anybody else? ¿Quién me falta? No? Ya todos leyeron. Sure? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's continue then. Let's continue. Um, so, no questions about the vocabulary you said. So, you're good on that. If you pay attention, you pay attention to the conversation or the talking or the about these two guys, Kim and Diego, right? They are hacking. They are hacking in this national park. So they mean they say some expressions. Notice how Kim and Diego use your responses, sometimes with really and sure to agree and to be supportive listeners. That's what I mentioned at the beginning. Fun examples in the conversation. This is the most incredible place. Yeah, it really is. So you have the same, we did at the beginning, we found the, express, the expressions like this one. Yeah, it really is. It sure does, etc. Really, I didn't know that.
Number uh, next exercise. Just pay attention to this one. This is the most incredible, incredible, incredible place. Yeah, it really is. Really is in the middle between the subject, that's it, and the verb be, right? Letter D, match the comments on the left, that means the numbers, with the responses on the right, the letters. And then practice with a partner. So you have from number one to number five. Yes? Easy? Do you understand the exercise? Yes. Yes, okay. Que los pongo en equipos. Let's go into teams so you can help each other. Uh, let's see, I have 10 people here, so I need. Five teams. Okay, please go to the rooms. You have five minutes or less than five minutes, four, five, four to five. All right, let's, let's just wait for the rest of the people I have here in the room, just Felix and Kibran. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, I hear you. Okay, number one, the weather was great last Saturday. Is letter C? No. Letter D. Letter D. E. Yes. E. The city doesn't have any parks. No, E. e. No, it really doesn't. That's too bad. The city doesn't have any parks. No, it really doesn't. That's Letter too bad. E. That's A. too bad. Letter e. e. Letter E. Number three, we should go hiking sometime. Letter I. Letter two. Letter A. A. Letter A, letter A, teacher. Can letter you read letter A? a? Yes, can you, you read? Right. Uh, you right, we really should. Should, should, should. Yes. Uh, number four, the lake here is a great place to go swimming. Yeah. 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 And the last one. Letter B. Letter like being B. out of the city, you can hear the birds. Letter B. So the key on these ones. Um, hold on, escucho un ruidillo medio raro, no sé dónde sea. Sí, se escucha. Como un motorcillo ahí. All right, if you're, if you're not using your microphones, please turn it off, turn it off. Uh, the key, there you should have a key when you find the, I told already, I already told Gloria and who did? And you see that you have was here, 
right? Okay. The city doesn't have doesn't have its present tense, right? Negative. So you chose this one. No, it really doesn't. So that's the key. We should go hiking sometime. You're right. We should find shoot here and you find shoot here. The lake here is a great place to go swimming. Yeah, it sure is. You find it. it. You agree. And the last one, I like being out of the city. You can hear the birds. Yeah, you sure can. See, same one, can hear, can hear. So they have to match the tense, the tense or the models. Sometimes it's different. Sometimes it's different. But it goes according to the conversation. Any questions so far? Preguntas hasta ahora? No, teacher, it's okay. No, teacher. Clear? No, teacher. Yes, it's clear. Thank you. All right. Thank you, teacher. Please, is you, you have any doubt? Doubt, please. Uh, now that I mentioned doubt, you always mention something wrong in your this word. Um, don't worry, teacher. When you it's you dude. make the test, when we took a test, we're going to have all many the doubts. 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 Ah, yes, many doubts. Yes. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> doubts, dude. Dude is a doubts. guy, a man, a uh -huh, person. Doubts, do that. So you have any doubts? Just please let me know. Let me know right away. I don't want you to get confused. All right, we are almost done today, but we still have um, some minutes left. Strategy plus um, using superlatives and for emphasis. Doubt and, dude, doubt and dude is not the same or it's the same? No, I explained the difference. Okay. Dude, not dude, dude. Dude. dude I said dude is a guy, a person. Hey, dude, how are you? Hey, dude, doubt. I have many doubts about the exam. Doubt, doubt. Yeah. Using superlative for emphasis. You can use superlatives to emphasize your opinions or feelings. And to you, this is the most incredible, the most incredible place. I have the best time. Complete the answers with the superlative form of the adjectives. Practice again with your own information. Like number one, where's your favorite place to hang out? Well, I really like going to cafes, you see. Most interesting. Most interesting teacher. The most interesting people. You see the most interesting people. Number two. Hey, where's a good place to go to get out of the city? Where's a good place to go to get out of the city? A, I mean B. Who wants to answer that? That one. Volunteers? The most amazing. Yes, but you need to read the whole sentence. I like going into the mountains. It's so quiet. And you can see the most amazing wildlife. Yes, the most amazing.
Amazing. Number three, I heard that you can take a boat trip down the river. Who wants me, to know? Let it be. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Felix. You sure can. You can get goodest view of the city. No. Well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Goodest, Felix. View of the city. The goodest. Uh, goodest doesn't the exist. Teacher. Uh, exist the goodest. The best. The best. The best. Rem uh, remember, good is a regular adjective, so you can get the best views of the city. Yes. Remember, uh, Felix, bad, good, those are irregular, so they change comparative and superlative. In this case, yes, we're talking about superlatives, right? The best use of the city. You really should do it. All right, last one. How was your vacation? Was it fun? Me, teacher. Yes, please, Natalia. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. We went sailing around some uh, island. I had the best time. Yes, I had the best time. That's the name of the lesson. I had the best time. Good because you didn't pronounce the S. Islands. 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 Yo voy a hacer como la escuelita. El que diga Islands, lo voy a poner repetir mil veces. Islands. Islands. It's just a common mistake. So, not a big deal, but. So you're doing good, you're learning. I like that. Uh, congratulations to everybody, because we are, I am seeing that all of you are participating. Some of, some of you are kind of quiet, still kind of quiet, but you are trying, you're trying. And so that's good. All right, five more minutes. Uh, I would say eight minutes, eight minutes. Listening and strategies, travel, talk, travel, talk, not travel, 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 not talk, talk, talk. Please be careful and pay attention to the pronunciation. So you're going to listen an interview, a radio interview, or interview, however you want to pronounce it. Number the experiences one to four in order you hear them. You have here four trips, right? Four experiences. Let's do it fast. Uh, it's page 57. Page 27, three, listening and strategies. Travel talk. Listen to a radio. Welcome to Travel Talk. I'm Lee Martin. My guest today is travel writer, Jill Ryan. Jill has traveled around the world many times. Her new book is called A Traveler's Tape. Welcome to Travel Talk. Thank you, Ray. It's great to be here. Jill, you have the most interesting life. You clearly love traveling. Yeah, I really do. I love learning new things about the world. Well, let's talk about your new book. You know, you've been to some of the most interesting places in the world. I have. And it's those most interesting and most exciting places that I talk about in my book. So then, tell me, what is the most interesting place you've ever been to? Well, one really interesting place I visited is Petra in Jordan. It's the most amazing city. 
Well, the pictures in your book of Petra are certainly amazing. They're some of the most interesting. Yes, they sure are. The city is actually all rock. The name Petra means city of rock. Really? Now, you've been to some beautiful places, too. What's the most beautiful place you've seen? Hmm, that's a difficult question. There are so many beautiful places. I think Antarctica has the most beautiful natural features I've ever seen. It sure does. I mean, the photographs of Antarctica are incredible. Okay, let's talk about your best and worst trips. What's the best trip you've taken? My trip to Copper Canyon in Mexico last year was definitely the best. The colors were just wonderful. And actually, it was pretty exciting. I rode the train through Copper Canyon. I think, actually, that's the most exciting thing I've ever done. I bet. It looks incredibly beautiful. It looks like the kind of place everyone should go to. Yeah, they really should. It's the most beautiful train ride. Amazing views. Okay. Well, now I have to ask, what was your worst trip? Well, two years ago, I took a Caribbean cruise. The cruise was great, but I got very seasick. I had to stay in my cabin for four days. I didn't see or do anything. So, yeah, that was the worst trip. Yeah, it sounds terrible. Not fun at all. Well, Jill, I want to thank you for being on Travel Talk. And good luck with your new book. You're welcome, Ray. It was my pleasure. All right, I hope you, we have the answers from these four experiences. The most of them. We have number one. What's number one? A visit to Petra. A visit to Petra. Petra, 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 Jordan. Petra, Jordan. Petra Jordan. Yes. Petra Jordan. So remember, we don't have time now, but you will have to listen again because we will continue. What's the most interesting place you've ever been to? Petra. It's the most blah 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 blah. Same with the next. So Petra is the first one. Number two. Antarctica. 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 Yes. Antarctica. Number three. Antarctica. 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 Mexico. I turn right through. Through. You have the H. Through. Through. Canyon. Yes. Not through. Lleva una TH. Through. 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 Copper right. Canyon in Mexico. Through Copper Canyon. Copper Canyon. Yes. Through. through Copper Canyon. Yes. And the last one, of course, is the Caribbean. 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 Where she got sick, right? So you have the, uh, the four trips, the four experiences. Then uh, I'll show you the audios. It's so you not answer. my audio. It's Sorry? not mine. No, I mean I'm I will send you the audios from this for this exercise. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. I have the answers. You have the answers? But I need to everybody yes. will have the answers. Has the answers. So let's listen again. I have a, more, a couple more minutes. Let's listen again and please pay attention. Page 27. Three. Listening and strategies. It sounds terrible, teacher. I can hear. Me either. Welcome to Travel Talk. I'm your host, Ray Martin. My guest. Sorry, you say it again? You cannot hear? Yes, but uh, there's a noise, a, a noise in, no, noise, a noise I, in noise. 
no it se sounds escucha terrible. Bien. We can hear. Okay, let's try again. Page 27. Three. Listening and strategies. Travel talk. Better? A and B. Does it sound better? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. You. Welcome. Hold on. Page 27. Three. Listening and strategies. Travel talk. A and B. Listen to a radio interview. Welcome to Travel Talk. I'm your host, Ray Martin. My guest today is travel writer Jill Ryan. Jill has traveled around the world many times. Her new book is called A Traveler's Tales. Jill, welcome to Travel Talk. Thank you, Ray. It's great to be here. Jill, you have the most interesting life. You clearly love traveling. Yeah, I really do. I love learning new things about the world. Well, let's talk about your new book. You know, you've been to some of the most interesting places in the world. I have. And it's those most interesting and most exciting places that I talk about in my book. So then, tell me, what is the most interesting place you've ever been to? Well, one really interesting place I visited is Petra in Jordan. It's the most amazing city. Well, the pictures in your book of Petra are certainly amazing. They're some of the most interesting. Yes, they sure are. The city is actually all rock. The name Petra means city of rock. Really? Now, you've been to some beautiful places too. What's the most beautiful place you've seen? Hmm, that's a difficult question. There are so many beautiful places. I think Antarctica has the most beautiful natural features I've ever seen. It sure does. I mean, the photographs of Antarctica are incredible. Okay, let's talk about your best and worst trips. What's the best trip you've taken? My trip to Copper Canyon in Mexico last year was definitely the best. The colors were just wonderful. And actually, it was pretty exciting. I rode the train through Copper Canyon. I think, actually, that's the most exciting thing I've ever done. I bet. It looks incredibly beautiful. It looks like the kind of place everyone should go to. Yeah, they really should. It's the most beautiful train ride. Amazing views. Okay. Well, now I have to ask. What was your worst trip? Well, two years ago, I took a Caribbean cruise. The cruise was great, but I got very seasick. I had to stay in my cabin for four days. I didn't see or do anything. So, yeah, that was the worst trip. Yeah, it sounds terrible. Not fun at all. Well, Jill, I want to thank you for being on Travel Talk, and good luck with your new book. You're welcome, Ray. It was my pleasure. Okay, okay guys, I hope you have the answers. I have to go. It's 6.01, so I need to jump to my other class. Uh, let's save it, and your answers. Save for the for tomorrow, okay? So okay, we'll continue sure. tomorrow. Tradition. Thank you okay. for your time. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. See you.